it's uh, what day is it today? It's Wednesday. Um, we're in the middle of Warwick Road along with my old friends and colleagues Aziz Daji and Shokat Hafiz. They've got Shoaib recording us. Um, people at home will have heard the announcement by Keir Starmer in Prime Minister's question time this afternoon uh, when he asked uh, Boris Johnson what's he going to do about this uh, getting all parties together to try and do something about the Palestinian issue, including recognition of the state and, and a lot of other things, including trying to get peace. Um, that's a very healthy proposition by him. Um, what I want to say is where has Kia been for the last few weeks? This current troubles happened in, at the start of Ramzan. There's had three or four question times granted that a couple of the weeks it was recess time so he couldn't have said anything but he this is the first time he's saying this particular positive thing first time actually since the year almost over a year that he's been in power uh, is that a response to the pressure he's feeling from lo potentially losing this speed this, this seat i don't know that's what i think but thank you kia it's very good that you made that proposition but we want a lot more we want a lot lot more we don't want to What's the word when, when it's just word tokenism? Yeah, empty. We don't want empty words. What are you going to do? Not what you're going to try and get Boris to do. There's a lot of things you can do in terms of tabling things, whether it's in relation to international law, whether it's in relation to United Nations, whether it's at least within his party or whether it's within the uh, you know houses of parliament. What are you going to do to end this madness? It's not something that happened just now. Jeremy Corbyn was trying to get to get to the bottom of it. We were doing something. You got rid of him. You got rid of him. You need to now prove to us, not with your empty words, that you're not just someone who continues unequivocal support for Israel. We've got no problem with that. But when are you going to condemn their actions? Because their actions actually props up a state that supports an apartheid state that exercises ethnic cleansing. I've got my old friends, Aziz and Shokan. Would you want to quickly say a word or two? Yes. Aziz? Yes, I mean, I agree. I think he's just, uh, because of the pressure he's feeling from the Bakli community who have spoken and the word has got to him that he's pretending to support Palestinians. Where has he been for the last few months when the children are being slaughtered, murdered every day? Uh, and now he speaks up because he knows he's under pressure and he's in danger of lo losing his position when Labour lose Bakli and spend to George Galloway. And we will make sure that happens. Inshallah. Shaka, do you want to say a couple of words? Yeah, I think it sounds like it's a make or break situation for Kier and he realizes that and I think the pressure from Batley is going all the way to the parliament and to the hierarchy within the Labour Party. The Labour Party are now frightened that they are going to lose this election because of the way George Galloway is being supported by the Muslim community and I think that the Muslim community will ensure that Labour will lose I think, you know, uh, I have a feeling that Kia Stama will get a very bad news on the 1st of July. But who knows? I'm only guessing and I'm only, you know, kind of speculating at the moment. But let's see what happens. But we have to be positive. What we are doing is making sure that our community gets a fair share of their resources exactly. and the support and everything that they need. We've been here in this, we're in Warwick Road, Batlika, and this community has been here last, what, 50, 50 years? years? 50 Please. plus years? Yeah. Mosques and Madaris have been established, people are living here. And yet, yes. look at the state of the roads and, you know, exactly. the amenities and what have you. Exactly. Finally, can I just say, Kia, thank you for, for, for the little bit of a speech that you didn't make. You know, credit given for the very little that you have done. I know everybody in Batley we speak to are saying that it's too little, too late, but credit. But it's absolutely nowhere near enough what we want. We want you to do something lasting and properly with substance in relation to Palestine, but in relation to everything else which the Muslim community in particular are unhappy about, whether it's on a national basis in terms of referring to anti-Muslim hatred or whether it's in terms of locality. For example, not least, the selection process for the, for the candidate for this uh, the member of parliament i wrote to you here through your officer in charge team i wrote to you on the 23rd of may i re re sent a reminder on the 30th of may i've even written to you a couple of days ago i've spoken to some of your you know senior officers i've even spoken to the current candidate about it uh, about the absolute discrimination here in 2021 what's that about here
you've not even acknowledged me never let alone respond now you're gonna to have to change um, I would say if you felt anything decent could be done then you'd cancel the complete selection pro process because it's absolutely not on if we took you on legally we could take you to the cleaners but we're not going to do that we're going to work with our feet thank you very much okay